I made it to Dixon Cemetery in uh, Ashland, Kentucky. And somewhere in this cemetery, I think, a lot of my ancestors are buried. So I'm going to go start looking. There's only so much daylight left, unfortunately. Um, I had an interview in the middle of the day, and so I had to take about an hour and a half or so out of the day. But uh, I can always come back tomorrow. It's not that big, so I'm just going to start walking and look for the names. So I looked on uh, Ancestry.com because I thought I remembered that somebody had posted a photo of what my grandfather's uh, headstone looks like. And I did find the photo, and I also confirmed that this is the right cemetery. So somewhere in here there should be a ton of members of my family because they've been being buried here for a very long time. Uh, and I now know at least what my grandfather, I never met him, but uh, I now know at least what his headstone looks like. So right now I'm kind of narrowing my search to finding that headstone. And uh, it's distinctive enough, you know, it's not, it's got a little ornamentation and stuff that hopefully will help me find it before the I lose the light for good, but there's not that much uh, light left. These might be relatives of mine, probably are. Skaggs was my grandmother's maiden name. I don't know who they are, but uh, certainly can look them up. So those are the first folks I've found with a name that I recognize. I've been going pretty fast because I'm losing the light, but uh, so, you know, I could miss things, but I do know roughly what, what I'm looking for looks like. So there's one big chunk of the cemetery, this section here, that I haven't walked through at all. So I'm going to go walk through that now and see if I can find my grandfather. And I assume my grandmother. My, I did meet her once as an adult the same day I met my father, about 10 or 12, 13 years ago. And uh, she since passed away. So I imagine she's buried with him, but I don't know. I could be wrong about this, but my understanding is that so many of my relatives are buried here that I kind of feel like when I do find them, I'm going to find a lot of them. I don't know. That might not be right, but I, I'm pretty sure it's right. So I, I kind of expect, like, there's definitely sections of this cemetery that are for certain families. And, uh... Yeah, I'm kind of expecting that I'll just find a big gang of my people here somewhere, but I certainly have not done that yet. For the number of members of my family that I believe are buried here, it's a little weird to me that I haven't seen anybody with the correct last name. Um, I saw those folks who might be related to my grandmother but I haven't seen one grave yet with my father's last name. And uh, I'm surprised by that. I, I mean, I'm, I have a very high certainty that I'm in the right place. Um, but uh, yeah, I haven't found anyone yet. I'll keep looking. Well, I found the first person I can say with absolute certainty is my relative. This is my great uncle, Robert Skaggs, my uh, grandma's brother, one of brothers. Oh, wait. Oh, man. This is my grandmother. Aw. Hi, Grandma. This is Addie Witt and Robert Skaggs. Those are her parents, I think. My great-grandparents. So I guess she's not buried with my grandfather. This is so strange. I don't even know how to react to any of this. This is my great aunt Agnes and her husband Lawrence. Uh, that's my grandmother's sister and brother-in-law. So this little chunk 
of the cemetery right here because this is my great uncle, my great aunt, my grandmother, my great grandparents. Um, and there's some old stones here. I don't know, I might be able to take a rubbing off them, but I can't tell what they say. But I still haven't found my grandfather. This is my great uncle Don and his wife Grace. And all these people were alive for so much of my life and I just never knew any of them. Yeah, I <laughs> It's challenging, I have to say. There's a lot of mixed emotions about the existence of this chunk of family and why nobody ever came looking for me and why even after I saw them, they never kept in touch. I mean, I, I didn't keep in touch either. I tend to feel the moral responsibility for that. That was probably not on me. But no one ever... I don't know. No one ever came looking for me. All those years, from the age of four until I went to look for them in my 30s. As you can tell, I have a lot to process about that. I had some brief contact with a cousin at one point, I can't even remember how distant, but who said that my branch of the family was pretty disconnected from a lot of the rest of the family, uh, that they kind of kept to themselves and were not, were not really interested in keeping in touch with family members. Um, I mean, <laughs> that might say something about my own situation where they were concerned. Uh, I am surprised that my grandfather is not near either my grandmother or any of those other family members. So I still haven't found him. But I'm happy that I found so many people. I'll probably end up coming back tomorrow. The thing is, the side of the family that I found is my grandmother's side, the Skaggs family. But the other side so, like, I would expect to find, I guess if my grandfather's not there, I would expect to find him with a bunch of his own people. I just, I just don't feel like I've seen their name anywhere. Yeah. This is not that big a cemetery. Thank God he's not <laughs> buried in some, you know, massive million grave cemetery. I mean, this is individually searchable, you know, with a few hours work. Um, I just don't have that long before the sun goes down, but it, I'll find it. Well, I haven't found my grandfather or any of his people. So, I think I'm going to have to come back tomorrow and uh, take another shot at it. Because it's getting dark and it's pretty cold and I'm hungry. And tomorrow is another day. I'm uh, in the car now, still in the cemetery. Um, I just texted my father. I have a number for him from, you know, 12 years ago, uh, maybe more, that I'm pretty sure was a cell phone. So I just said, hey, I know this is out of the blue, but it's Jason, I'm in Ashland. Do you have time to get together tomorrow? <laughs> um, I'll be very surprised if I even hear from him. I think I can find an address. Um, the address I had when I wrote him a letter like eight months ago or so, the letter came back and then I found another address and I sent it to that and it didn't come back. It didn't get answered, but it didn't come back. So, um, might be able to drive by to, I don't know, let the text sit there for a while and see what happens. All right. Day two, I'm uh, back at Dixon Cemetery. It's like, uh, I don't know, 11 or 11.30 in the morning, so I got many hours of daylight. And I'm just going to go slowly this time and see if I can find my grandfather and his relatives. Um, because I couldn't last night. 
I found him. I found him. Yeah, I found the whole a whole gang of them. This is my grandfather. Estel Carl Borders. I was born in 1973. And he was alive till 1982, and uh, I never met him. More borders there. And there. Wow, well there he is. Hey, Gramps. We should have had a chance to meet you. I should look up and see see who else is here. These are my great grandparents, Heezy and Bessie. And uh, I mean, Heezy died young, but you know, Bessie was alive until I was 11 years old either 10 or 11, depending on when during that year she died. My great-grandmother was alive until I was 11. And uh, didn't even know who she was. Never heard, even heard her name. It's just like having a... I don't know, it's like just having a chunk of your history just ripped away from you without your consent. Oh, I can just barely make this out, but this is a Borders, too. Let's see if I can make out who it is. This is my great-aunt, Gracie May, my grandfather's sister. Well, he had a million siblings, and this is one of them. She died in the 30s. And this is my great uncle Ray, my grandfather's brother. Looks like he served in World War II. And uh, he died in Ohio about a decade before I was born. So I did it. I found both my grandparents. I don't know, I'll just say again that it's, uh, it just feels like a robbery. <laughs> so, I had so many relatives who were alive, like close relatives who were alive. I have such a small family on my mom's side. And I had so many people in my family who were alive when I was young on my father's side that I could have known and just didn't know any of them. And like for the most, I, I met my grandmother when I was very little and my parents were married, you know, like one, two, and three. Uh, my grandmother used to come to visit. And so I definitely knew her. I don't know if my grandfather ever saw me. Um, and then, like I said, I met my grandmother once when I was older. But uh, I had all these people. I mean, I had great grandparents who were still alive on this side of my family when I was a kid. I never got a chance to meet them. And, you know, a billion aunts and uncles and cousins. And I still have a ton of cousins. Um, none of whom I know. There should be more of my relatives here. Oh, my gosh. Literally, I said that and looked to the left. And I see the last name over there. So let's go find out who it is. Because, like, my great-great-grandfather is buried here. Um, oh, wow, here's a whole, here's a bunch more. Here's a whole bunch more. Okay, let's find out who's who. I haven't looked these folks up yet, so I don't know who they are to me. But they are my family. Here's another World War II vet who was alive 
when I was alive. It's so weird that I didn't see any of this yesterday. There's another person. Another veteran. I've been uh, using my phone to go on the Ancestry app while I'm walking through the cemetery and just realizing that you know this is a very small area and uh, this this you know Ashland area and so many of these families married each other that a lot of the people in this cemetery are my relatives you know um, their names crop up in my family tree all over the place uh, so yeah this there's definitely a lot a lot of history where my DNA is concerned here in this little plot of ground that's it that's it for me I uh, I walked through well I walked through the whole cemetery quickly and most of the cemetery slowly and I did find a lot more relatives um, I didn't find my great-grandfather who's in here some no my great-great-grandfather who's in here somewhere but uh, but I found a lot of people and I did text my dad uh, yesterday I didn't hear from him uh, I don't even like I said I don't even know if the numbers right and I don't feel like driving around trying to find him I think I'm gonna leave Kentucky and just go up and see the kids and get away from the past and back to the present for now thanks for uh, thanks for taking this little trip with me it's been uh, I don't know I just keep coming back to the word intense it's been very fraught emotionally and I feel like there's going to be a lot more to process. Um, and I do have some kinds of access to some members of this family. So maybe there's a way I can, I don't know, I can build some relationships. I still can't quite decide, you know, what the thing to do is, like what I need or... Um, or whether whether there's a point in trying to connect to roots with which in most ways you have no connection. I, I can't answer that question yet. I'll give it more thought though. Um, I would say something like, I've got plenty of time, but <laughs> you all know me well enough to know I don't believe in the concept of having plenty of time. In any case, I'm really glad I came here. It's really interesting having one place where just, you know, 200 years of your people are, are remembered. I thought I had that in Massachusetts too until, you know, I found out that my grandfather wasn't my actual biological grandfather on my mom's side and suddenly like all this history kind of went away and I don't know I guess uh, the universe gives and takes <laughs>